My heart is heavy, very heavy. Because my people have a saying. And I will explain it. Abambo ya tuoni igwe. Ababo ya tuoni igwe. Owe igwe ko wone na ababa. Ben, ben, ben. Ben. I will explain. You shoot first. And it lands there. Same spot. You shoot again, it lands on the same spot. Who do you blame? The shooter or the spot that is always landing on? Which is actually something that we need to consider. Every day, every single day in Nigeria, this type of situation comes up. And like our distinguished brother has said, with a new dimension. Some time ago, in, uh, I think it was uh, in Gam, uh, it wasn't Gam, in Syria alone, they had somebody there called for the Sanko. And what he did was to be cutting off people's hands. Now somebody has imported another for the Sanko into Nigeria. I agree with the Senate leader who said that this is a moment where we have to work with the executive. I fully agree. The only thing I don't agree with is this executive that we want us to work with. Have they accepted that they are the people that, are, that have responsibility? We have a president that says, I don't know my IG, didn't even follow my order. A president that says, I didn't even know when this happened. Every little thing he doesn't know. Point of order, leader. Order 53-4. Your contribution to the subject matter and do not and do not uh, digress. And uh, that's the speech. President, I'm keeping my contribution to security. And the commander in chief of the of Nigeria is in charge of security. And when the commander in chief says, I don't know what happened, then we have to worry whether this our security is actually in the right hands. But let us go from there and also bring to the fore another aspect which the Senate leader mentioned. I'm only trying to expand what he has said. He said that the security forces are overstretched. We agree. But Distinguished Senator Marafa has told us here that information was given in the Zamfara case to the same security people and the governor was dancing Arabanko somewhere else and left the security he's supposed to. Is that not what he said? So it is not a question of not having enough people. It is a question of not acting on the intelligence and information that you have. And of course, I can't blame them for not acting because the president says, I don't know. How will you act for what you don't know? So, Mr. President, let us beg this president, please take responsibility for one thing. It's not everything that you don't know so that we can be safe in Nigeria.